Well, Schmiemler, we just arrived in Victoria. Yeah. yeah. We left. Um, where did we sleep last night? I guess it's it was near like Shawnigan Lake. Oh, at the Kinsel Trestle. That's where we slept. And we left there and we went to go to Goldstream Park to. Um, we were going to walk through the park and take some photos of some waterfalls, but we went to the wrong parking lot and then when we left, we tried to find the right one and somehow missed it and decided, well, we're only 15 minutes from Victoria, let's go there because for some reason the YMCA closes at 4 o'clock and we want to get in there and have a shower and work out. Well, what time is it? Like yeah. two? It's like two o'clock. So we have two hours. I'll be honest. Today's Saturday, right? Yeah. And Tuesday was the last time we showered? Well, I don't think people need to know that. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not sure if I remember how to do it. Well, you're going to have to figure it out. Yeah, I guess so. I'm going to have to ask some guy, some strange guy, naked guy in the, in the change room if he can show me how to shower. That's going to go over well. Or maybe it will. Okay, we're going to get our stuff together and uh, get over there. We're just parked in a parking lot across the street. So we'll have to pay for a little bit before we can go inside and get our gym on. So we left the Y. We got all nice and cleaned up. Um... Yeah, my beard's so clean. I shaved a little. My neck, you can't see it, but I shaved my neck. No more neck beard. Yeah, so we just took a walk. We parked the camper. We're walking down by the, I guess this is the harbor in Victoria. I don't really know. I think it's called Victoria Harbor or James Bay. Or Victoria Harbor. So we took a walk down here and we came upon this crazy mansion behind us. Like, <laughs> look at how big this house is. Do you know that it's not? I bet it's. I, I bet it's a hockey player that lives here. It's probably, uh, it's probably Kirk McLean. That's probably his house. Because who else could afford a house this big in Vain, British Columbia? I mean, seriously, look at that thing. And he's very nice. He just lets all these strangers hang out in his yard unless they're friends of his and is having a barbecue. We should go see if he's having a barbecue and we can have some burgers with Kirk McLean. No? I don't know who Kirk McLean is. Kirk McLean, he was a goalie for the Vancouver Canucks. Oh. Yeah. Knock on the door. It's either him or Trevor Linden, but I heard he owns a trailer park in Penticton, yeah. so I don't know that he can afford this building. But we're gonna walk around some more. We're gonna try to find somewhere to eat. We want some, uh, we get a hankering for some seafood. Mm -hmm. Which we, beer. yeah. Mm -hmm. Somehow we have not had seafood since Cranbrook, which oh, is not your, nice. your, not your, your seafood hub. Oh, we sound stupid. Um, yeah, so mm -hmm. let's, we're let's stupid. go walk around. Speak for yourself. I bet whoever owns that house also owns this yacht. No, 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 no. Well, Schmooze, we are uh, in lineup for this fish and ship place in Victoria. What's it called? Redfish, bluefish. Yes. The line goes beyond us. We've been in line, what, 20 minutes now? I don't know. I probably. Uh, probably 20 minutes. Um, and we're about a third of the way up the line now. So, I don't know. Hopefully, this place is worth the wait. Stretch. Better be good, like really. 
Yeah. Like, really. We'll really let you guys good. know once we get it. Mm. How's your food, Schmurz? So I just had a fry and it was really good. They have like salt and pepper on the fries, which I am a huge fan of. So we got some halibut over there. Mm -hmm. We got salad. We got some cod. Some slaw, some ketchup, some tartar. Got a plane coming in, sitting right on the water. You try your fish. I'm not ready to try it. All right. It's too hot. Okay. I'm gonna do what that girl was doing, and she wrapped her fish up and ate it like, like that. Was a lot of batter, but well, was it worth the wait? Well, <clears throat> it's good. Verdict is in. It was definitely worth the wait. Okay. Do you think it was worth the wait? It was worth the wait. We waited in line for like an hour. Only like 15 minutes after we ordered, we got our food. Yeah. Ambience is great. Location is great. Food is off the charts. Off the charts. I'm, it may be because I'm starving, but if you're ever in uh, Victoria, hit up Red Fish, Blue Fish, and get the cod and the salad. Yeah, we uh, let me show you where we slept last night. There's the camper, and we found this little little road in a town. I don't know if it's it's called Saanich. I don't know if it's part of Victoria or just like a neighboring town city, but that's where we are, and we found this little road that takes you right into. Um, it's called Telegraph Cove. Ooh, a bee just landed on me. Um, yeah, and this is where we woke up. Just uh, took the cats out while we had a, or while I had a coffee and Emily had a tea. And I uh, just took them for a walk and I kind of really liked, even though there's, well, it's starting to clear up a little bit, but... It was pretty foggy in the distance. You couldn't really see the horizon so much. So I'm going to try to take a photo here. It's a cool little scene. Not what I was uh, expecting or planning this morning, but let's see what we can do. So I just set up the camera. I think I, I like the composition. We're actually doing a horizontal shot. A lot of times, most of the time, I prefer doing vertical shots when I'm doing landscapes. I just like the way it looks a little bit better. So I'll show you what I'm looking at right now. So this is the back of the camera. We've got these rocks that kind of create a leading line that go out into the water. And then just in the not so distant there, there's a boat that's just hanging out. It's moving a lot. so. That poses a bit of a challenge, but I love everything about this. And then the sky is completely overcast, so it almost, the horizon of the water almost kind of fades right into the sky. So what I'm gonna do 
is um, using my Breakthrough Filters Circular Polarizer, I'm going to clear the water of any reflections so you can see right through it. And then I'm also going to use the ND filter to smooth out the water so that it looks totally flat. This is going to be a multi-shot photo though, so I'm going to take one photo to smooth out the water with the ND filter. Then I'm going to have to up my shutter speed to take a shot just of the boat so that it's frozen and not moving around. And then I'm gonna take three or four shots of these rocks here and I'm gonna focus stack, which means I'm gonna create my focus point here and take a photo. Then I'm gonna move it up a little bit and take another photo focused there and then another photo focused here. And then I'm gonna combine all of those shots into one image in Photoshop so that it's sharp from front to back and then also has the smoothed water and then the frozen boat. Most likely I'm gonna convert it to black and white because I think this is just begging for a black and white conversion. Um, and then, yeah, if, uh, if the photo doesn't suck, I'll put it up right now. So in the end, I couldn't really resist. I had to try one vertical. And that's the one I ended up choosing to go black and white. I can't help it, I just like vertical landscapes. What about you? What do you think? Leave me a comment. Let me know, do you like the vertical one better? Do you like the horizontal one better? Do you prefer the black and white version or the color version? Should I have done the horizontal one black and white? I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Well, Schmies, um, yeah, I can check if they can. We, uh, we've got the sun shining in our face, so we're lit up. We're still in Victoria. Mm -hmm. This is like our third day or fourth day. Mm, I don't uh, third day. And we haven't really done much <laughs> in all this time. I mean, we went out for seafood the first day, I think. Second we've, day. We've been to the Y a couple times. Um, but other than that, we've really not done anything, which is weird, I feel. Well, what have we been doing? I don't know. That's what I'm... My brain is drawing a blank. Whoa. We've just been wasting our time doing nothing. Well, well yesterday it rained all day, right? Yeah, I think that's so why. That, the last yeah. two days it's rained, so right. that's why we haven't done anything. Today so is the first uh, sunny day yeah. since the first day we were here. So we and decided... And we also did nothing. Yeah, well, we... Yeah for various reasons but we're uh we're on our way to fisherman's wharf now to check that out <clears throat> take a little walk through there see what that's like and uh i guess if there's anything interesting we will show you guys so this is fisherman's wharf some of these colorful buildings are stores and shops some of them are houses where people live 
they just float on the water. Are we sure about that? Well, we'll find out. I'm pretty sure. So this is the beginning of the private homes little walkway, but you're allowed to walk through and check it out. It's pretty cool. I don't know why you wouldn't want to live here. I mean, the only thing is, uh, yeah, like, it'd be weird having so many tourists walking past your front door. Probably. Yeah, there's electricity. Well, you can get electricity from solar power. Help me, I'm in kitty jail. What are you doing, kitty? How's it going? Get me out of here. Well, we couldn't resist. We couldn't resist the allure of fish and chips. Can you move your arm? Uh, two pieces of cod, some fries, you know, tartar, coleslaw, all that stuff. Uh, this is uh, a pre-dinner snack. Well, we killed that. What'd you think, schmooze? I didn't fancy it at all. At all? Well, I mean, it's good. We ate the whole thing. It wasn't that it was bad. But if you're comparing it to the redfish bluefish, it was... <clears throat> the fries weren't seasoned at all. And the at redfish bluefish, they were so seasoned. They were salty, peppery. And I, they had something else on there. It was so good. And uh, the fish was bigger there. The fish is smaller here. And not as white and clean. Some of the batter was wet, I found. I think Elizabeth's <coughs> fish was better than that. Yes. Sorry to say it, but I would agree that redfish, bluefish was much better. Far superior. That the being color said, of the fish was so white. I yeah. mean, this was good. I can't. I, I can't. could never make that. Well, yeah, you could. It's not hard to make. It's just uh, you need the equipment. Um, but the point is. I mean, fish and chips is great. I love it no matter what, even the bad stuff. But, oh, my finger's in the way, damn it. Um, just for the last second. And it's starting to rain. Yeah, it's starting to rain. Let's get out of here, I guess. The sun has disappeared, and it's just cloudy now. Um, yeah, so that's our cue to leave, I guess. We got lots of stuff to do. Okay, let's do it. Peace out. Well, we're back at our spot that we've slept for the last two nights. Three nights. Well, this will be three nights. Oh, yeah. We, um, we thought about sleeping where we parked by Fisherman's Wharf. Um, we could have stayed, slept there and stayed till 10 in the morning tomorrow. But then, uh... I don't know, it would have been busy, we thought. So we decided to go back to our spot for the last two nights because it's a great spot. It's quiet. It's right, literally right in front of the water. And best of all, what we forgot to mention is there's seals. This afternoon we saw a couple seals. Oh, we saw three seals. Well, did we, you think they were all individual different ones? But the first we saw two, so those are individual. Yeah. And then two other times there was one each time. So, I don't know. But we, we saw two different seals. Right. So, yeah, the, the seals, this, this shallow little bay, they came swimming in maybe like 50 feet from where, like from the shore. Which was pretty cool. Because 
Emily had been wanting to see seals the whole time. And finally, they just appeared right in front of us. How's it going? Good. And um, so we came back hoping maybe we'll see those again tonight. But then shortly after we got back, we ended up seeing an otter, which I don't know that I've ever seen an otter before. I've only seen an otter once, and I was probably eight, seven or eight years old. And they're very small in Ontario, like, they're small. This one was large. Yeah, it was cool. And we watched it swim all the way through, up by the rocks and underneath this dock. And then we walked a little bit closer and was able to get a really good... Yeah, we got a good look at it. Mm -hmm. um, I'll uh, flip the camera around so you can see how nice it is out here right now. So this is right out the windshield. This is where we're sleeping. It's a pretty good spot. I've been happy sleeping here the last few nights. And we met uh, we met one of the neighbors today, and he took me on a he took me on a um, historic walk through <laughs> around the bay and giving me lots of information and. It was cool. I like talking to the old guys. They're always full of uh, stories. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to hang out. We're going to make dinner at some point in a little while. Kitties are eating theirs. And are we yeah, gonna just chill for the night. Just chill. Yeah. And then tomorrow we're going to leave Victoria um, and make our way northwest along the western coast of the island. Okay. So we'll see we're what that brings. We're going to drive an hour and a half and then stop again for the night so you can take a picture of that uh, lighthouse. Pretty much. It's okay, I guess. Okay, thanks. All right, we'll see you all tomorrow.